Hello and welcome to Delcam Crispin Shoemaker Pro 2014 R2 What's New Sessions. And in this session we're going to look at the import and flattening options for orthopedic lasts. So if I go to my import and select import last, I can then search and select for my orthopedic last. In this case it's in STL format. I import the last and I get a wizard that opens up to take me through the import process to bring the last within to Shoemaker Pro. So I have an option to choose between standard last and orthopedic last. In this case I'm going to choose orthopedic last. Go next and as you can see the software automatically places the four ordinate points on the last. This is the last top at the back, at the bottom point, at the toe point and at the cone. Positions are automatically placed but can be edited so if I go through the points and if I wish to change any of the points I can just select and the point has been changed. Rotate round to the toe, happy with the toe position, just have a look at the cone so I can place a point here if I wish and go next. The next stage of the import process is to define the difference between the top surface and the base surface and the side surface of the last. So what we have here is an ability to move these lines around to define our own position of the top surface. You can move the points around using the left mouse and hold down to drag. If you wish to delete points you can hold down the T key and the left mouse at the same time will delete the point. To add a point in we can do the repeat process. We hold down the T key and hold over the line where there isn't a point and press left mouse to add a point. So I'm just going to position these points very quickly on the last. Now obviously the amount of work done here depends on the quality of the last scan and the quality of the last in the first place. If we have strong square edges then the line will be detected a lot easier by the software. OK, I'm happy with the top position, so I go on to the feather curve. So I select the feather curve option, have a look at the last from the bottom, and we can see, again, lines that we can edit. Now we can use the feather curve detection tool and slide this up or down to identify and maybe give us a better starting position. Again, points can be removed and added holding the T key down. Okay, once we're happy with that, 
we can then have a look at how our last will look like when it's been brought into the system. So we can check to see the accuracy and difference between the STL last that's been imported and the one that will have surfaces applied to within the software. So the one that we'll actually use to flatten within Shoemaker Pro. So what we get, we get our model and we can see differences. We have a difference uh, it's shown by colouring and we can also hover the position over the last so you can see that I've got quite a difference at the toe so maybe I can slide up the accuracy and press again now the toe area might have been affected because I removed a lot of points at the toe to quickly change the feather edge or the position of building up the difference between the surfaces and the bottom so rerun the preview and as you can see we've removed this area of difference. Okay, so I'm going to press next through the wizard and what we'll do is we'll now get surfaces applied onto the last. Now at this stage we can define and edit the front center line curve just at the toe point so up and down we can change the position. But I'm happy with the position that's been applied so I can press next. The next stage of the last wizard is to set the last orientation so we can change the heel pitch toe spring obviously moving with it look from the front and we can do the rock of the last so the swivel move the slider position when we're happy press next at this stage we can identify details of the last so we can say it's a left foot it's in UK sizing maybe the size group is relates to men's and the size for this last is a nine and then we can press finish now what opens up is the flattening dialog and as you can see in the parameter file we now have a default ortho flattening option we still have the accuracy here for the flattening so as it's an orthopedic last we can choose to raise this value to increase the mesh of the flattening and its accuracy so I'm going to press OK and here we have the 2D flattening of our last so if I fold the flattening in half you can see a feature for the orthopedic last is that we don't automatically mean front cone line top curve and back curves so this way you can have a separate inside outside flattening immediately to work on we go back to the 3D view we can see our last now in the modeling window ready to be designed on Thank you for listening to this session and hope you join us for more sessions in the future.